Did you know that when reloading the Mangler in Halo Infinite, you can actually see each of the shells being ejected from the weapon? What's cool is you can actually see the shots that you fired as those shells will be empty. Hello and welcome back to Hidden Video Game Details. The series that aims to show you things that you may not have known about your favourite games so that you can look really clever in front of that weird guy who watches you get changed at night. As always, if you think you know of a hidden video game detail that I'm yet to cover, then please let me know in the comments down below. Oh, and if you do go on to enjoy this video, then leaving a like would be super appreciated. And if you are a fan of Easter egg secrets and hidden details in video games, then perhaps consider subscribing, as that's what this channel is all about. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. So let's begin with the excellent Battlefield 2042. 2042 is a real return to form for the Battlefield series, with a brilliant launch that has left fans wanting more of DICE's excellent first person shooter. Okay, I'm joking. The reaction to the first couple of months of 2042's lifespan have been pretty rough, with DICE admitting that the game isn't up to scratch and promising to fix it. Now, whether that actually happens remains to be seen, and it may end up being too little too late. We'll just have to wait and see. Well, on a much brighter note, there is a really cool detail that can be found in 2042, and it involves the robot dog known as the Ranger. If you approach this cute little guy and hold the interact button, this will happen. So even though there is no prompt, holding down the interact button near the ranger will make your highly trained soldier stop mid-battle to pet the robot dog. Battlefield may be a bit of a mess right now, but at least you can be nice to this little guy. Up next is a game that was recently seen in the video game easter egg series, and will be featuring again pretty soon. Hint hint. Amazing Frog isn't a game you'd expect to find cool details in. It's a game that is basically the definition of jank, with glitches and bugs being accepted as part of the experience. Well, when I was recording a few easter eggs for an upcoming video, I noticed something pretty cool. When you're roaming the streets of Swindon, your frog's phone will have full service. Well, if you head underground to, say, the sewers, then the frog's phone will now have no service at all, as of course you're deep underground. Now don't get me wrong, this is hardly a mind-blowing change the world type of detail, but it is something I didn't expect to see in Amazing Frog. So this next detail was found by my son Freddy, who requested that I include this in a video and give him a shout out. So here we are. Vending machines have been in Fortnite for a while now, letting you top up your loadout on the fly. They're handy little machines, so handy in fact that after you've made use of one, you might want to destroy it so that an enemy can't use it. The thing is, when you try to destroy one of these machines, they will actually try to persuade you to stop. So I think my favourite line was, maybe next time we can hug instead. And if that doesn't hit you right in the feels, then you aren't human. Well, it's that or you don't feel compassion for vending machines. Either one. Now, a video game detail that I love is the crackly radio effect. You know what I mean, when you're driving through a tunnel in a game and the radio will begin to distort as it loses signal. Popular examples of this can be seen in the likes of Just Cause 3 and Mafia 3. Watching the ships rolling well, we now have another game to add to that list. Grid is a 2019 racing game developed by Codemasters. It's a game that lets you communicate with your race team so that you can ask your teammate to push on and try to overtake, or to prevent others from overtaking you. Just don't try and use this feature when driving through a tunnel. Yeah, there's no rival in this event. 
Okay, I'll ask them to push. Sitting in mid-pack. So recently, Banjo-Kazooie was made available to play on the Nintendo Switch, and it got me thinking about a detail I remember finding hilarious as a kid. At the start of Banjo-Kazooie, Bottles the Mole will appear and ask if you want to go through the tutorial. If you say no, Bottles will leave you to it. However, if you change your mind and try to ask Bottles for help, he won't be best pleased. <laughs> So Bottles will soon lose his temper and threaten to delete your save. Of course, being the daredevil that I am, I did bother Bottles again, but he doesn't follow through with his threat. Next up is the excellent Plants vs Zombies battle for Neighborville, with another detail that aims to make you feel sad. Well, sort of. At the time of recording, the Snow Day event is happening in PVZ, which turns the world of Plants vs Zombies into a tropical island. Of course it doesn't, it covers everything in snow. Now, whenever snow hits the ground, you can bet your bottom dollar that a snowman won't be far away. And that's true even in Plants vs Zombies. However, if you aren't a fan of snowmen, you can break them, but they won't be too happy about it. So hitting a snowman in Battle for Neighborville will cause its smile to turn upside down. So the penultimate game for today's video is Five Nights at Freddy's. Now I haven't actually featured FNAF on my channel all too often. The fandom surrounding that game knows way more about the world of animatronics than I ever will. Well, there is a detail that I was told about that is really interesting and one that even people who aren't fans of the Five Nights at Freddy's story will like. At the start of FNAF 1, you are shown a clipping from a newspaper advertising a security guard position at a pizzeria. Surrounding the advert is some blurred text that's hard to make out. Well, if you were to read the Five Nights at Freddy's book, The Freddy Files, you can see that the blurred newspaper text isn't blurred in the book. So for those of you who are interested, the blurred text reads, blah, 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 blah. This ad has nothing to do with anything relevant to the game. Blah, 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 blah. Chances are you won't make it past night three. Blah, blah, yakety, yakety, blah, blah. This probably isn't the best choice of a summer job since you most likely won't survive the week. I'll recommend being a cashier, back boy, or work in a warehouse. Those are all very respectable jobs and you probably won't be killed doing them. Well, you might, but it would be unlikely, blah, blah. I've mentioned before how I love details like this in video games, and this particular example of it is one of my favorites. So the final detail for today's video comes from Lego City Undercover. One of the few unlicensed Lego video games developed by Traveller's Tales, Lego City Undercover is an excellent open world Lego game full of references to movies and TV. Now, being an open world game, you're free to commandeer any vehicle that you like in the pursuit of justice. Well, before you take off after another no good criminal, let me draw your attention to the license plates of some of these vehicles. For example, this is the Police Pursuer. And if you enter the license plate into Google, it will show that this pursuer actually belongs to a Lego set bearing the same number. The same can be seen on the pizza van. Entering this number into Google will show a set featuring the pizza van. It's a really cool detail and one that I'm sure Lego fans will enjoy. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, then leaving a like is really appreciated. If you are a fan of hidden details and Easter eggs in video games, then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.